In this lecture, we are going to continue with different types of analysis in Abacus and we are going to learn about a very important concept that is called multi-steps analysis. Let's say in any problem, we have any analysis that is in multiple steps. So how we are going to proceed in these types of situation, we are going to learn in this lecture. So let's say we have our step 1 that is from 0 to 1 second and it is followed by one more step that is step 2 let's say it is up to 2 second and one more step we can have multiple steps so let's say the next step is up to 3 second so when you go through the multi-step analysis it is not only about providing just magnitude and direction for the load we also need to provide some more parameters. For example, we need to specify how the new load is going to interact with the existing load. Whether it is depending on the existing load or it is a completely new load step. So we need to define a parameter for this. And this parameter or this thing can be defined for boundary, C load or distributed load for all the types of load and boundary condition and for all this we define a parameter that is called OP parameter. Now for this OP parameter basically we have two values one, is, one we called is OP equal to mod second is called the OP equal to new so mod means modify new means completely new. So now let's understand about each one. So we are going to learn about different OP functions or we can say operation functions. So first one is OP equal to mod. So by default when nothing is specified automatically Abacus consider it as OP equal to mod. So OP equal to mod means using the OP equal to mod causes the load defined in the current load step to modify the same type of load already existing. So let's say we have two steps, step 1 and step 2 and when we define the step 2 we say OP equal to mode. Then the load in the second one depend on load in the first step. So we can make a conclusion that result from the previous step will be carry forwarded to the next step. We are also going to learn it from an example. Similarly, in OP equal to new, Abacus remove all the existing load of that type and only apply the load specific in this current step to the model. So we can make conclusion that in this step when we define OP equal to new, the result from previous step will not be carry forwarded. So now let's learn about this with a practical example. In this example, we are considering a beam like this of this dimension, this cross-section and this material. So I have already performed an analysis for this beam and now we are going to see the result. So let's see the result. First of all, in the first case, I have taken this beam and apply a load of 10,000 Newton in the vertical downward direction. And this is my step 1. So we see the result for this calculation and here you can see the maximum deformation is going to be on to this last point here. You can see this is the deformed shape and this is the undeformed shape. And here you can see maximum value of the U that is displacement is 61. Okay. So, in the first step, the displacement was 61. Now, in the same analysis, I will add one more step that is step 2. So, here you can see I have added one more step that is step 2. And in this case, I have applied some different force. Let's say that is 20,000 Newton. So, we can apply this force on any other point as well according to our situation. So let's see the result and in this case I have applied the condition that is OP equal to mod. 
and when we consider the op equal to mod first it is going to solve for the step 1 during the step 2 it is going to consider the result from the step 1 it means it is its new condition will be this banded banded position and in this case you can see the maximum deformation that is 183 and you can see it has tripled so this is 61 this is 183 it means first software has created bending for this load and then these two bending loads have been added so that is the situation when we use op equal to mod now let's consider op equal to new let's say from the step 1 this time I will define a different step 2 here and the force I have applied is similar and I have applied the condition that is op equal to new what happens in this case so in this case you can see the maximum displacement is 122 at this point here you can see it is 122 so you here you can see this time the displacement is doubled so what the conclusion we can make from here is when we consider op equal to new it does not carry forward the result from the previous analysis means in the second step it is a completely new step that is the meaning of op equal to new but when we consider op equal to mod it will carry forward the result from previous analysis to the current step that is step 2 or next step so now let's go to abacus and understand about this so go to open and go to your plate folder here you will see beam bending multi step dot ca file and click ok now in this file we have taken the similar beam so i will directly go to the load option okay before load i will go to step and go to step manager here you can see we have an initial step then i have created a step that is static step and we have defined one more step that is step 2 dismiss now go to load and here i will go to load manager and here you can see i have defined two loads when we define a load one you can see the first load was created in the step that is static and you will see inactive option in the step two the second load was defined in the step two so to define the load in different step what we can do is we can go to create and here you need to select the proper step then that load will be go into that step okay so click cancel so the important thing to see here is you can see this load 1 was created in the static step 1 this load 2 was created in the step 2 but here you can see the load 1 is also taking part in the step 2 right now it is inactive if i click on this inactive option click on activate now it is propagated propagated means this load will also take part in the load 2 or you can say step 2 means first the software is going to solve for the load 1 then its result will be taken to the load 2 when we click on this propagated okay similarly when i click on deactivate now the load 2 or step 2 will be a completely new analysis okay so now one more thing here is we need to understand the significance of op equal to new or mod so to understand this right now it is inactive click on dismiss go to model and here you will see edit keyword click on model 1 okay so basically here you can find the keyword for the complete analysis so i will expand this and we need to search for the load here in the bottom you will see okay here you can see the load one we have defined that is concentrated load and this is the value we have defined on this set 
now let's see the load 2 so here you can see in the step 2 we have defined the load 2 here okay this is the load 2 here and you will see one more parameter here op equal to new when we consider op equal to new here means result will not be carry forwarded now click ok once again i will go to load now this time i will activate this now it is propagated dismiss once again go to edit keyword and model so when i go to here in the bottom you will see this time there is no op equal to new when nothing is mentioned the software automatically consider op equal to mod which means load from the previous analysis will be carry forwarded okay so generally uh, when we uh, do this type of analysis to specify the clarity we insert the op equal to mod by ourselves or when we use the third party software for pre-processing like hypermesh or ansa they will automatically add the appropriate op function another thing is this situation is for the load okay and we can also add any type of load here we can also include like uh, we can also take define one more load like pressure shear force body force etc any type of load we can define with same principle and same thing will be applied also to the boundary conditions as well if you go to the boundary you will also see the same options expand this you can see bc1 has been created in the initial step and then it is propagated to the step 1 and step 2 let's say we want to define a completely new boundary in the step 2 then how can we define it for this we need to deactivate this then click on create a new boundary in the step 2 continue let's say i pick up this node done and let's say this time i want to create pin connection here click ok so once again if i go to this edit keyword and go to model and here you will go to the boundary again go to the bottom and here you can see in this boundary here you will see op equal to new automatically with this we can make a conclusion that the same thing is also applied for the boundary as well so it is very important to select the proper op function when we have multi-step analysis so same thing we can also see in the inp file so inp file is basically a keyword file so i have created two inp file that is for job for op equal to mod and op equal to new right click make a right click here make a right click here add it with notepad plus plus similarly i will open the second file right click open with notepad plus plus so go to language select this b1 again here language this b1 so if i go to the bottom here this is op equal to new file so here you will see the parameter here op equal to new and in op equal to mod you can see by default nothing will be mentioned here you can see in the load 2 nothing is mentioned it means equal to op equal to mod so we can also add a keyword here in the c load insert a comma then space we can write op equal to mod mod and this will be this will make a clarification that how this load is going to interact with existing load so this is all about multi-step analysis in Abacus.